first of all, I want to show you the game that we're going to be working on. So let me go ahead and I'm going to uh, reload this page here. And you can see here, the basic idea is that we have a player character, which is this uh, paint palette uh, sprite that we can control. And we also have a treasure chest. And you see we have a timer at the top. And what we're trying to do is we are trying to touch the, time, the, the, the treasure and see how many points we can get before the timer runs out. Okay? And when the timer runs out, we will see a screen that tells us how many points we got. And uh, it will also tell us if we beat the high score. Okay, so the challenge here is to try to beat your high score every time. Okay, so the controls are you use the four arrow keys up, down, left, and right to move the player. Uh, when you touch, as you saw, when you touch the the treasure chest, you get a point, and the treasure chest moves to a random point on the screen. And then, once you get to the game over screen, after the timer runs out, if you press the enter key, then you'll be able to restart the game and try to get a higher score. Alright, so we're going to be breaking this game development process down into five steps. All right, And what I would encourage you to do is to take a, a short pause after each step and go through and make sure you understand the code for that step. And what I'm also going to, to give you the, the links to, um, there's a link that I have where I've broken down the code for each step. So you know, after we do step one, you can look at the link for the code for step one. Then after we do step two, you can go look at, at the link for the code to step two. All right, so um, depending on where you're watching this, if you're watching this on YouTube or a webinar or uh, in a, a teachable course or, or somewhere else, there should be um, either in the comments or, or the lecture notes uh, there will or the description of the video, uh, there's going to be links to all of this, to the game, the full game itself, to the code, the um, steps, the code for each step, and other resources as well. All right. Now, one of the things that I do want to mention is that as you're typing, try your best to make sure that you, you follow along. Uh, will you type exactly what I type um, as much as possible to prevent errors? Okay. So the thing about coding is that it can be very exact, all right? So you're going to want to pay attention to uh, make sure you have things like the same spelling, uh, the same capitalization that I have, uh, the, you know, the, the word choices for the, the words that I use when I'm typing out my code, and as much as possible, um, pay attention to the white space, okay? So the space between words and characters, all right? So like I said, coding, it can be very exact, and even small changes can make a big difference or even introduce errors. So if you decide to continue on learning programming after this session, you'll eventually understand why I'm advising you to do this. And you'll also have a, be able to better uh, make changes on your own without having to follow me exactly. But to begin with, let's try to be very exact. And again, if you have any trouble with that, uh, then what you can do is look at the, the code that I've linked uh, for each step and uh, compare it to yours. And, you know, if, if some parts of it, you might just want to copy and paste. All right. So that gives you a better understanding of the game and how we're going to break this down. So uh, let's go ahead and let's get started.